Today is the big day. Whew, stressful. But I studied for this. Did 500 leak code problems in two weeks. We've got this. Prepared. All right, man, how's it going? My name's James, I'm a senior engineer with the company. Today I'm gonna to be conducting your interview. You're gonna have the coding interview, a couple questions, and then uh, we'll move on to the behavioral. And if all goes well, I'll send uh, the feedback to the hiring manager and hopefully you'll get an offer. So tell me about yourself. Yeah, so I went to college for computer science. I was a tutor there. I did some internships. I got a chance to do research, consulting, freelancing, and I even started my own company. Wow, interesting. It sounds like you've done a lot. So I bet you'll ace this interview no problem. Oh, well, um, uh, not necessarily, right? There's always uh, questions that I haven't done before, but um, I, I sure hope so. No, seriously, you sound really smart. I think we should just jump into the coding portion now. So for this portion, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. They're pretty easy. About algorithms and data structures, you should have no problem. Um, we're gonna start with the first question. We'll use a shared Google Doc. And uh, yeah, the first question is going to be, given the head node of a singly linked list, reverse the linked list. Oh my God. Did he actually just ask me to reverse a linked list? I just struck gold. Okay, I think I'm about done. Does that look good? Wow, yep, you got it. That looks perfect. Um, I just need to ask you, this is a standard, what is the time and space complexity for this problem? Okay, so the time complexity here is O of N, where N is the number of nodes in the linked list, and the space complexity is constant because, of course, we're not using any auxiliary data structures here to help us reverse the linked list. Wow, just like I thought, you are acing this with flying colors. One more question, and uh, I bet you'll get that offer. So uh, let me just get the second question. Should be pretty standard. Literally anything but dynamic programming, and I am in the clear. Oh my fucking god. Why? Why does this always happen to me? The fuck? Alright, time's up. It looks like you didn't solve it. It was a dynamic programming problem. Very important. You definitely should have studied that. It's very relevant to the job you would be getting here. Uh, anyways, I think you still have a chance to make it up in the behavioral portion. So, yeah, let's just jump into the behavioral interview. So tell me about your weaknesses. Okay, uh, weaknesses. Um, yeah, sometimes I, um, I try too hard. And then there's sometimes I, I think too big. And sometimes I just care too much. Wow, that is pretty weak, but um, can you tell me how that relates to our company principles? Like, I don't really see the connection. Well, they don't necessarily relate to the company principles, but I am trying to improve myself every day. 
So you're telling me in your past you haven't made a minor mistake that demonstrates characteristics that we would be looking for in our employees. Um, oh, no, I didn't even really know about the company principles until I applied, so I don't know how I could have... Yeah, our employees are destined to work with our company from birth. It's all predetermined, so... Anyways, I've heard enough. Do you have any questions for me? Um, well, how did the, how did the pandemic affect, affect work-life balance? Yep, really great question. All right, thank you for your time. All right. Fuck, man.